Zadrizes bus darīs, kas tev. Now that the House of the Dragon Season 2 trailer has come out, there's been a lot of people that have seen it, right? Myself included. There are certain things that when I was watching the trailer, I was 100% for sure certain about. And then after putting out my video, I see in the comment section that not everybody necessarily agrees with me. And some people think things that are happening are entirely different from what I think is going down in the scene. So in this video, I'm going to focus on those. In particular, all the moments from the trailer where people are riding dragons, right? So please, before I jump into any of that, do me a massive favor. For me or anybody you're a fan of here on YouTube, please subscribe. That's the number one best thing you could ever do. And also, consider slapping a like on this video. Like goal is going to be 420. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> okay, so the first thing that you want to discuss is Damon on Caraxes. Now, this is awesome. Uh, it's really easy to tell with dragon riders who have established who their mount is right we know for a fact damon is on caraxes and since he's wearing his battle armor and you can kind of tell from the backdrop although not really let's be honest it's kind of like a blur the one time for sure damon will be riding his dragon into battle this season is going to be when he goes to take heron hall so that's exactly what's happening in this scene there's really no point in spending too much time talking about it but i did see some people saying that this was damon when he takes king's landing with rainier now there is a possibility that that's the case although you gotta realize king's landing is open sky there's a big uh, bay next to it called blackwater bay so if this was damon taking uh king's landing with rainier i feel like the backdrop would be really different although it's quite possible and the next image i want to discuss is is sea smoke the image of uh some people thought it was laner but i'm 100 positive the silhouette of this person is adam of hall um there was some debate about this image of rainier on Cyrax, and then sea smoke's new rider in sea smoke itself the dragon right so if we zoom in as i'm doing right now you can tell that this is sea smoke when you compare it with the previous known images of sea smoke it's the exact same color the next thing people were debating is why is sea smoke so much bigger than cyrax here's the thing in canon cyrax is actually locked away even before the dance of the dragon cyrax is mostly kept inside the dragon pit or in the dragon mount and mostly is not a free dragon that's flying around eating stuff like, that's why Daenerys' dragons were so big at first, is because she let them free. They were allowed to go and hunt and fly around, and this is how dragons grow the most. This is how they grow the best, rather, right? Like, a wild dragon living out in the open air is going to grow way more massive than a dragon that's kept in chains. And that's what happened with Cyrax for the past, like, 15 or so years. Cyrax has kind of been locked up in a chain, in, uh you know, a bit of the chain gang in the dragon pit, or when she's in Dragonstone in the Dragon Mount, right? C-Rex doesn't fly around and isn't free feeding like Sea Smoke. Sea Smoke hasn't had a rider over the past years, and that's why it's grown larger. Also, there's another thing I wanted to address about this. HBO, for years, right? And I've actually confirmed this from interviewing the actress who played Shay from Game of Thrones, right? I'm showing you a clip of that right now. I interviewed her because she was seen filming for Game of Thrones season six. We all know she died before that. Her character was choked out by Tyrion on the bed from the hand, uh, the chain hand of, you know, interlocking hands. He choked her out. She's dead, right? But she showed up for the filming. She was literally seen filming on location for House of the Dragon season six in costume, on set, all near the other actors, right? So I obviously, when I had the chance to interview her, I was like, yo, were you going to originally reappear in the show in like a dream? Like I thought maybe Tyrion was in a drunken stupor and he just visualizes or hallucinates Shay. And she's like, nope. She basically said that they, she was uh, friends with Dan and Dave and she's friends with the actors. So she was hanging out on set and they knew that people were filming. So they intentionally dressed her up to make it look like she was going to appear on screen. And then also Game of Thrones season eight. Remember they had that image of Jon Snow and Cersei in the window and they were literally filming right there and then people were taking pictures of it and they didn't give a crap. You know, that's a fake leak. HBO puts out fake leaks. And one of the fake leaks for House of the Dragon Season 2 is that the actor who plays Laner is going to come back on Sea Smoke, take away Rhaenyra's two youngest children, Aegon and Viserys, take them across the narrow sea, and then he gets attacked and he dies on Sea Smoke. And then Sea Smoke is later claimed by Adam Valarion and all this other crazy crap. And I don't know. That plot leak doesn't make any sense. If it happens on the show, hopefully it will be written in a way that makes sense. But Laner's already kind of dead, right? They did 
something different with him on the TV show, but ultimately they freed up his dragon to be ridden by Adam of Hall. So in my opinion, what's happening here is Rhaenyra uh, realizes that the only reason why Sea Smoke would be ridden by another rider is if its previous rider is dead. So she's now probably taking all of that in that Sea Smoke's previous rider, her ex-husband Lanor, is dead. So even though they tried to get him away and have him a happy life he ends up dying off screen and that frees up his dragon then there was another image uh there's a few of them one of them with rainier's got like soot on her face and then it looks like she is uh holding up her reins on her dragon i think what's happening here and i'm sure there are other people that agree with me but i think what's happening is after Rhaenyra discovers her son's remains, and the remains of her son's dragon, she gives him a Targaryen funeral. Targaryens burn their dead traditionally, so if that's the case, Arax, Lucerys are in pieces, she wouldn't want to carry them all the way back to Dragonstone and do all that. She probably burns them here, then takes his ashes back with her to inter them in the, uh, the crypt at Dragonstone, right? So I think Rhaenyra, <laughs> the opening scene for Rhaenyra is going to be flying to you know shipbreaker bay we know it's confirmed we know this is storms end off in the distance we know through leaks that they filmed this scene but i feel like she's going to end up burning her son and that's what's happening in these images then the next image i want to discuss and i uh i kind of spent a bunch of time talking about this in my breakdown from yesterday but this image of bela on a dragon for sure she's on a dragon like we know from leaks that moon dancer arc that's come out uh moon dancer is going to be shown in the series and it looks big enough to ride now in canon bela doesn't participate in most of the war not because she doesn't want to but because her dragon moon dancer is too small literally too small for her to fly so she's kind of just chilling right but she's the daughter of Damon, so she's also a massive rebel and she also does what she wants right so eventually when she does play a part in the story is towards the very end when Aegon right, is taking Dragonstone and he's on his dragon Sunfire, uh, Balo rides up with her dragon Moon Dancer and fights him in the sky. Ultimately, the wounds that Sunfire suffers from this fight from Moon Dancer end up leading to Sunfire's death. But Moon Dancer is killed in the battle and Balo is greatly wounded and King Aegon breaks both of his legs after having burned the entire left half of his body. You know, when Rook's rest, he ends up fighting Bela pretty much to the death on moon dancer kills her dragon and almost kills her and then um ultimately she ends up living and she's saved now when you look at the teaser and you realize in canon she's kind of gone for most of the war until the very end and you see her riding some dragon that, that definitely breaks canon it makes you wonder what's going on in this scene if i had to guess i think Bela, and a lot of people think this as well, there's not necessarily a bunch of leaked information that's come out to confirm this, but I feel like Bela may witness her grandma leaving to Rook's Rest, and in doing so, maybe she just starts riding her dragon, and she ends up chasing after her, and shows up right at the climax of the battle right this kind of looks like that's she's witnessing something happen off in the distance and it could be like rainy's willingly slapping her whip against her dragon forcing her dragon to go into battle even though the odds are greater so so what happens at rook's rest and i've explained this like forty thousand times but in short Maylees and Rainies are outnumbered because Aemond and Vagar is there, also Aegon and Sunfire. So she knows that she can take out at least one of the dragons and goes into battle and ends up dying in the process. Her corpse, uh, her body is like so badly burned it's found next to a dragon it's unrecognizable. So I think what's happening in this scene is Bela could be witnessing that. Let me know what you all think is happening down below in the comment section. And another possibility with Bela and Bela riding this dragon is could they could have actually switched even though we got the concept art for Moon Dancer they could have actually switched out her roles or switched her arc with a certain character there's this actress or there was this person that's supposed to be playing Nettles Nettles is one of the dragon seeds that's called upon to mount a dragon she ends up riding this dragon called Sheep Stealer and she gets it by feeding it sheep every day until the dragon grows accustomed to her presence and then she mounts it I was sent leaks that Damon supposedly helps the actor who's playing Nettles uh, capture sea smoke I've had been sent leaks that Rainier is the one who helps Nettles but ultimately there's some people that think that Nettles plotline has been given to Bela, Bela is now riding Sheep Stealer that she mounted as a wild dragon, like since she ne technically never rode her dragon, she's given the role, and this is why in the books, at least for the TV show, people say that it's Damon's daughter, because it actually is Damon's daughter under a new alias and a new dragon rider. 
if that's the case, they're probably going to go a completely different route with the relationship between Damon and Nettles if Bela is going to be playing the role of Nettles. But either way, let me know what you all think about this down below in the comment section. The last thing I want to discuss uh, is Aemon on his Dragon Vagar. Uh, Aemon and Vagar supposedly sit out most of Rook's rest, but then eventually it looks like Meili's and Rainey's are getting the upper hand on Aegon, and Aegon, according to leaks, supposedly has an argument with, with Aemon and tells Aemon, no, I'm gonna take care of this. You know, like you did uh, the last thing with Lucerus and Arax, let me take this battle. This will be easy, right? At least that's what Aegon thinks because all of his troops on the ground greatly outnumber the Black's troops, right? So he thinks that he will, it'll be an easy win for him, according to leaks. So uh, he flies in the air to go and meets with Rainies. Rainies and Melee's hand of his butt, right? And this is when Aemon and Vagar bum rush into the battle. But in doing so, he charges in and knocks uh, Aegon's dragon sunfire around and Melee's around and uh, Aegon ends up getting burned because of this initial ambush by Vagar. This is all information that's been uh, sent to me through the DMs over on Twitter that were leaked, right? But for sure what's happening is this is the Battle of Rook's Rest. Aemon has likely just gotten a pep speech from Kristen Cole, and uh, he's riding into battle. But all right, this seems like a good point to wrap this video up. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Like I said, I just broke down the trailer for an hour yesterday. That video is linked down below in the description. Please go watch that if you already haven't done so. Also, please slap a like on this video. Like goes going to be 420. Please make sure you subscribe. And also, super special shout out to the executive producers of this video. They are members of my Dragon Knight tier over on Patreon.com slash their hunter reviews. Those members are The North Must Remember, Brian Johnson, Pebbles83, and Destiny Phillips. Thank you for watching.